Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have questions about the Stargate work and how it started. Um, can you share a little bit about that, where you were and, and how it started to open up for both of you? Well, actually, this happened for me um, many, many years ago, close to 30 years ago now, I guess. Mm. And I was in Hawaii on Maui, and I was actually part of a group who were about to buy a hotel and turn it into a new age center. Well, one afternoon we were having a meeting at my home and I was totally exhausted. And so my friend said, well, why don't you lie down and we'll give you a massage. So I was actually lying down on the living room floor with, I don't know, maybe four or five people massaging me. And I went into this very beautiful deep space through the massage. And after some timeless moment, I don't know how long it was, somebody started to speak. And it was a bit annoying because I was really relaxed into the meditation. But the speaking carried on and it got louder and stronger. And in the end, it was such a disturbance, I opened my eyes and my friends had stopped massaging me and they were looking at me and they were saying, you were channeling. And this channeling uh, from my guide, Alcazar, started to happen completely uh, a surprise to me. It wasn't something I'd expected or wanted to have happen. And so that literally changed my life from then on. <laughs> so I was very doubtful. I didn't believe them. And, and they coaxed me and they said, do it again, do it again. And it happened again. And so basically what started then was people were telling people and more and more people would come and ask and Alcazar would start talking. But Maui was a small island and I felt strange enough channeling anyway because it was so new. But Alcazar wanted to talk about what we now call star families, the Pleiadians, the Arcturans, and spaceships and things. And for me, that was too much. I didn't want to be talking about those things. So every time he tried, I'd cut him off. And of course, the more I cut him off, the more he wanted to talk about it. And so in the end, I said to him, OK, if this is real, if these so-called star families and people from out there in the universe, if they really exist, prove it to me. Okay. And uh, I thought, well, okay, maybe one day I'll go out and I'll see a, uh, something flying across the sky or something like that. But what actually happened was far more amazing. One day he told me to go down to my favorite coffee bar on Maui, Casanova, and he said, just go down and hang out. So I went down there. I was drinking my cappuccino and this couple came up and sat next to me and started asking what do I do and eventually I still as I said I was still pretty shy about all this stuff and uh, I explained to them I was channeling and this woman said well can I have a session with you and I said yeah absolutely and she said are you open for an exchange and so I said yeah what would you like to offer as an exchange and she said, well, I take people up to the spaceships. And I was like, what? <laughs> wow. It was like, wow. And, and so I said, well, OK, let's do it. And uh, we went back to my home. I did a session with her. I don't recall anything about that. But then she said, OK, are you ready? And I said, well, yeah, where do we go? And she said, you just lie down and we go out of body. And I said, <laughs> I've never been out of body. I don't know how to do it. 
And she said, it's okay, you just relax and we'll help you. So I was lying on, on the floor in my living room again. <laughs> and uh, I guess, I don't know, I was either a little afraid or didn't know what to do. Or, but uh, it took a few minutes. But then suddenly I had this experience of just kind of floating above my body. And she said, good, you're out. Just relax and we'll go up. And there was this sensation of moving without moving. That's the only way I can really describe it. And I found myself lying on something hard, a bit like a massage table, but kind of hard. And I could see, but it was like being in a thick mist. And she said, just relax. They're going to be working on your energy. And then all of a sudden, I could see quite clearly, and I found myself in a small amphitheater-type room. And there were maybe 12 or 16 people sat around in this amphitheater. And they started to clap. And she said to me, do you know why they're applauding? And I said, I've got no idea. And she said, this is the first time that you've come up here consciously. Usually you come up at night and you're not aware of it. And that was kind of a challenge for my mind. But it was like, okay, this was so strange and yet so familiar in a funny kind of a way. And so everybody left the room except there was one guy standing by the door. And she said, do you recognize this person? And I looked at him and it was like, wow, where do I know him from? He's so familiar. And I said, well, I know him, but I, I can't recall from where. And she said, this is you in this dimension. And that was just too much for my mind. I couldn't, I couldn't take that in. I couldn't comprehend it. And she said, well, we're on a small craft right now, but we're going to go over to the mothership, which is a really, really large craft. So I said, OK. And we walked with this person uh, along a short corridor. And he was, standing, he was walking off um, on my left-hand side. And she was behind, still talking and asking questions. And after a moment or two, suddenly he and I just kind of merged. And I heard myself answering the questions about the ship that she was talking about. And it was like a total, I mean, I had never had an experience like that before. And we went to the end of the corridor, and there was a, a doorway in a sense, but there was no door in it. There was this rectangle, and there was lights, like a, a very slow waterfall of little dots of lights slowly going down. And we stepped into it, and we stepped out on the mothership. And that was vast. And uh, we went into the bridge or the control room or whatever it's called. And it was, it was really big, and it had these very large, I don't know whether they were windows looking out or a screen or something but I could we were high up and we could look down over this big mothership and it literally it, it went off what seems to be like miles in all directions and well it was it was my mind couldn't grasp what was happening and sometimes when I find myself telling this story it's like wow you know did this really happen it just to me even listening to myself sometimes it sounds so amazing but it was so powerful and I don't know how long we were up there but after a while she said okay it's time to go back now and so then there was this again the sense of movement and boom back in the body and so after that, I said, OK, Alcazar, you can talk about spaceships. You can talk about anything you like. Yeah. So that was perhaps one of the most amazing introductions to other dimensions that I ever had. Mm. You know, I want to I find out if you know, later on, I guess, if you, if you thought that was a Palladian or an Arcturian ship. Or I may ask you now, did you ever get a sense of what that was? What type of well, star family? Actually, it was a, a ship of the Galactic Command, and they have beings from all over the universe. They all come together wow. to support this whole process of uh, the evolution of ha humanity. So there's no separation up there. You know, the Galactic Command is, is people from all over the universe. Okay. And from the sound of it, it's a lot of our higher selves as well, or different aspects of ourselves up there as well. 
helping the human part. Exciting. Okay, <laughs> we're going to talk more about that. Juliana, I know you've been waiting uh, patiently and, and plugging in. How did you begin working with the Stargate? Yeah, so, uh, you know, for me, it, it was nothing quite so <laughs> dramatic and um but I love that story. It just every time reminds me of this adventure in consciousness that, you know, this multidimensional universe represents and awakening to the potential that we all have to discover more and more about about our own multidimensional aspects. So to me, I think what drew me to this work was that adventure in consciousness combined with this deep wisdom from Alcazar that, that we'll get to experience in response to some of the questions today. But to answer your question, I um, had just finished studying molecular biology <laughs> in my undergrad, and I was moving back home, so I was online, and I just happened to find a meetup group that um, Pradeet had started about the Stargate. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, because it was talking about using a high vibrational energy field for meditation. And I had just done an energy healing workshop where we used it, high vibrational energy field, just for instant healing. So I knew firsthand how amazing these high vibe energy fields actually feel. And I, when I was doing this healing work, I was like, okay, this is great, but I just want to hang out in these energies, you know? So it was kind of my guide's way of bringing me to the Stargate was through um, just online. But what was really magical was I came to this evening, and it was actually a small gathering in, a, in somebody's home in California, and I walk in, and the six-foot Stargate's in the living room, and it kind of like, I opened the, the front door, and it kind of like, blows me back a little, you know, as if I was being, like, tapped on the head. And I was like, okay, something's happening here. And um, I was actually walking down the hallway to go use the bathroom, and Pragit was walking the other way, and I hadn't seen his face before. I actually thought that um, he would probably be some Indian guy. <laughs> but um, when I saw his face, something happened, and it was like I was remembering the future. And it came with three feelings. One was, your whole, my whole life is about to change. I'm going to travel all over the world, and this will be the greatest adventure I've ever been on. And it felt so benevolent to me that this smile popped on my face, and I was just like, we'll see what, we'll see what happens, you know, because I was actually planning on going into osteopathy and studying alternative medicine <laughs> at that point. So... Um, yeah, the Stargate changed my whole life, and all three of those things ended up coming to fruition. So it's just an adventure that we're both on, I think, and it's just such a pleasure to share this this direct experience with people. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna to get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one, live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.